Both the government and the opposition are in a bit of a mess right now these days. But when it comes to Parliament, there is one figure that unites the whole of House of Commons against him, and that is the SNP's Ian Blackford, who was just kicked out of the chamber by the Speaker. He has been investigated by the police. He misled the House. He must now resign. Order. You'll have to withdraw that last comment. Mr Speaker, I gave the evidence of the 8th of December. And order, order. You're going to have to withdraw misled. Now, there are a lot of people who say, well, yeah, he's telling the truth. Yeah, of course, the Prime Minister misled, he lied, or whatever you want to say. Whether you like it or not, the House of Commons still has a sort of t t t typical kind of language, legal language, technical uh, communication that you need to actually obey the rules. So if you're going to talk about the rules and following the rules, Ian Blackford needs to still follow the rules of the Commons. Whether they're right or wrong or old-fashioned or not, that's irrelevant. He continued and continued and continued up to a point where today was about scrutinising the Prime Minister, but it became all about him and not in a good way. To help me, to help the House, you withdraw on your early comment and replace it with inadvertently. It's not my fault if the Prime Minister can't be trusted to tell the truth. Under the power given to me by Standing Order Number 43, I order the Honourable Member to withdraw immediately from the House. From the House. He's left anyway. It's all right, we don't need to bother. Right. <laughs> There's no point. He just walked out anyway. The thing is, whatever he says, and when I criticise Boris Johnson or the government, generally speaking, with policies, and, you know, of course, if they do something right, I support them. But when he says it, he makes me want to back Boris even more. <laughs> it's just embarrassing. I just also received a, the latest update from this saga that hasn't been shown on TV. We are the first to show you this exclusive footage of Ian Blackford leaving Parliament just after he got kicked out just minutes ago. And uh, guess who he met? Literally outside the House of Commons. Well done, Ian. Fantastic. We just heard the news. <laughs> How are you doing, Ian? Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. What did you say in there? He said he was a liar. Absolutely the truth. <laughs> you should not be removed for that, Ian. Thank you so much. There you go, Ian Blackford. Just leaving Parliament. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you the last bit three times in a row just so you see this, what I see, because it's absolutely hilarious. There you go, Ian Blackford. Just leaving Parliament. There you go, Ian Blackford. Just leave in Parliament. There you go, Ian Blackford. Just leave in Parliament. <laughs> Steve, stop Brexit, pray. He's still outside Parliament. Why is he still outside Parliament? Get a real job, Steve. And oh my, okay. <laughs> I really don't want to make this video about Steve Bray, but it just makes me laugh every single day when I'm outside Parliament walking around. He's there with his big hat. This is the clown world being run by clowns and protested by clowns. That was good, wasn't it? I'm proud of myself. Right, okay. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, for watching. Thanks for all the support. If you're new to the channel, if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel. Click on a bell next to it. I'm going to come back with more updates for you guys. I'm Maya TCN. We are the media.